I couldn't find two of the same color hair ties. That's okay. With all the lights reflecting, everything's a different color. Anyway. Every, everything's a different color. Are you ready for a super controversial topic? No. This is definitely controversial, and uh, we may get just a couple of hate comments down below on this one. I don't want any. But this one is really important because this one is step four on how to get started on keto. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. So welcome to step four on how to get started on keto. Yeah. And this one is going to be a little controversial, but it is a very important step. It really is. And if you make the right decision in this step, I think that you're going to realize your health goals a lot quicker versus going the other way. Yeah. So now before we get into step four, we do have a sponsor for today's video, and that is Perfect, Perfect Keto. Keto. So uh, if you don't know what Perfect Keto is, they are a nutrition company. They have all kinds of super keto friendly products and um, all of them designed by Dr. Anthony. Uh, has an incredible book called Keto Answers. Yes, really good. I'm going to leave a link for that book down below because that book is awesome. If any question you have on keto, and it's broken down by questions. It's exhaustive. He answers everything you can possibly think of. But as far as Perfect Keto products, they have bars, which I absolutely love. And this kind of goes along with today's topic. It which really is one does. of the reasons I'm bringing it up because they have good ingredients. And that's the difference between them and some of the other products that actually have the name Keto, keto in it because a lot of times when they have keto in it like you kind of got to raise your eyebrow yeah. and be like i don't know but they have good ingredients like in the here rock. so some of the things they have they have keto cookies they have keto bars like i said which i love these bars mct powder and our new favorite yep and they Strawberry even have collagen. electrolytes and these electrolytes are really good with super clean ingredients and they give you like 500 milligrams of potassium per serving so really really good products we use some type of perfect keto product Every, every day. single day. I use this collagen every day, especially the new strawberry flavor. Yes. Uh, there is a link down below if you're interested in it. Now, we have two different coupon codes that you can use. You can use the code 2 Crazy Ketos, which is going to get you 20% off of your entire order. Now, that is a one time use per email coupon, or you can use the coupon code, it's 2KK10. Again, link is down below in the description, and that is going to get you $10 off your $40 or more purchase plus free shipping. I love that. So we greatly appreciate if you do use those links. Please support the sponsors who are supporting Too Crazy Keto. Yeah. Now, with that being said, and we'll talk about why I liked Perfect Keto as the sponsor for today's video. Right. Because we are going to talk about, again, a controversial topic, and that is net carbs versus... Total carbs. Total carbs. And I think what we need to do is first start off with what is total carbs. So if you look at the box of any ingredient here in the United States, you're going to see on the back, on the nutrition label, and it's going to say total carbohydrates. And that's everything. That's everything. That includes any sugars, any sugar alcohols, and any fibers. Maybe you should back up a minute. What is a carbohydrate? Well, carbohydrates are, as we learned in the previous video on the one-to-one, -one, it is fuel, right? Our body is using two things for fuel. We're going to use either fat or we're going to use carbohydrates. So when we look at the one-to-one -one ratio of eating your protein and eating the same amount of grams of fuel, the fuel is your fat and your carbs. Carbohydrates is the first fuel that your body is going to use after alcohol, because right. alcohol is a poison. It wants to get rid of that first. Then it's going to go after the carbohydrates. When there's no more carbohydrates left, then and only then is it going to turn to the fat. And we want it to turn to the fat pretty quickly. So right. I don't want to have 60, 70, 80, 100 carbs that it has to get through 
to get to me. Right. I want to go in straight to me. Now remember, carbohydrates in our body actually turn to glucose. That's what our body is using for the fuel. And it's much easier for it to turn the carbohydrates to the glucose. So now that we talked about that, let's talk about the controversial subject. Net carbs. Net carbs. So what is a net carb? Now, first of all, let's 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 back up. Net carbs aren't a thing. They were made up by the food industry. Yeah, you are not going to find those in your science books at yeah. school. <laughs> no. Now, if you do go to some other countries, like in Europe, they actually list on the label net carbohydrates. We're not talking about that. What we're going to talk about is here in the United States, going by total carbs or net carbs. So here's how in the United States, you are going to figure out what the net carbs are. You're going to take the total carbs, what's listed on the box, then you're going to subtract from that any fiber that is listed on the box. Then you're gonna look down below that and it's gonna say sugar alcohols, if there are any sugar alcohols, and you're gonna deduct that. Not the sugar. If there says sugar- You can't you, deduct that. You can't deduct that. You have to look for sugar alcohols. So you have total carbs minus fiber minus your sugar alcohols. But wait, there's more. Yep. Because there's another product out there that is not classified in any of those, but technically you can deduct it because your body doesn't digest it as a carbohydrate. And that is? Allulose. Allulose, which is a very popular keto sweetener. It's actually one of our favorite because it's it actually everywhere. lowers blood glucose. Yeah, it is everywhere. Now, I will say that it is not super sweet. Right. And that's why you usually see it in a big, giant number. Yeah, because allulose is only 70% as sweet as sugar. So a lot of times, for example, we've got these keto bars right here. On these keto bars, one of the ingredients is allulose. It's actually the second ingredient. And usually when you find a product that is sweetened with allulose, allulose is up at the very top because you have to add so much of it to get a sweetener. Right. So this, again, when we look down here on the nutrition label, there's 210 calories, 17 fat, 11 total carbs, two fibers, and then there's no sugar alcohol. So now you have to go somewhere else on the box right, and find where it says how many sugar alcohols there are, which it's right here. It says there is 11 total carbs, minus two fiber, minus six grams of allulose, making it three net carbs. Actually, six grams of allulose is not that much. That's pretty low. Very low. Now, here's the thing. While you have allulose, which doesn't list as a sugar alcohol, but you can deduct it. There are also sugar alcohols that you shouldn't be deducting, but they list on the package as a sugar alcohol. Right. Like maltitol, which is also yes. going to make you run to the bathroom very quickly. Very fast, like stay near a restroom. And they're used in a lot of like bars and snack foods. So that is kind of leading us into which one should you do, total carbs versus net carbs. So. We're gonna start off with, why should we do total carbs? Actually, you know what? Let's start off with some net carbs because I've got some products over here. Okay. And we can kind of break it down both ways. These are all products, obviously, we have in our house. Yeah. For example, I love this product. High key. These things are delicious. These are breakfast biscuits. And if you miss that kind of break, you know, like, I don't know, breakfast, kind of cakey, like a Fig Newton kind of texture. Like a cookie muffin. Yes, these are awesome. We're just gonna look at the carbohydrates because in one of these, there are 24 total carbohydrates. Now, if you haven't seen these, I'm gonna show you how big they are. This is how big they are. They're a decent size. They are very filling. Yeah, they are, they're very dense. And they're delicious. We actually have a coupon code for them because we do buy these. Uh, 24 total carbohydrates. Which is daunting. Seven grams of dietary fiber, eight grams of sugar alcohol, and here they do actually list allulose on the nutrition label. A lot of companies don't no. do that. They simply list, it's listed as a sugar. So here they're listing, there's eight grams of allulose, but you've got 24, minus seven, minus eight, minus eight, giving you just one, one net carb net on carb. it. So we got another product over here, another product we absolutely love. Fox Hill Kitchens. This has got two total carbohydrates in a serving, and there's seven servings in here. So if you eat this entire package, Which that's 14 total carbohydrates, mm -hmm. right? With two grams of dietary fiber. 
You know what that means? It's free. Right? Wouldn't you love that to be true? It's zero net carbs. It is. It's zero net carbs. Here's the only problem with that. So if you want to go by calories, that's 35 times seven. If you want to look at the fat as your fuel, that's two times seven. So you've got 14 grams of fat. If you're only eating 100 grams of fat a day, do you want 14 of them to come from here? From your croutons? From a crouton. <laughs> and then don't forget, we are also looking at our energy being the carbs and the fat. So if you have two total carbohydrates, now you're doubling that. You're at 28 grams out of your 100 in fuel if you eat this entire package. Yeah. What else we got down here? Oh, yes. The one that... You gotta love it if you wanna do net carbs. It gets me every time. Pecans. We got cashews. Mm -hmm. Not a great keto option, by the way, because for example, this is five total carbohydrates, but only one gram of dietary fiber. So four. For this little tiny packet, net which carbs. is like six nuts. It's so delicious though. I love cashews. But we got pecans. Four total carbohydrates, three grams of dietary fiber. Only one net carb. So if you're one following thing. a net carb protocol, what does that mean? One. So if you're for doing bag? what, no, oh, for four. a serving. So if you eat the whole bag, it's only four net carbs. I could eat the whole bag. But it's 16 total carbs. Time but four. here's the thing. You eat this whole bag, you're eating 800, 840 calories. Now I know we don't talk about calories. No, how much Let's fat Let's talk though? about fat. 22 times four. <laughs> so what is that? 88 grams of fat. So if you're eating 100 grams of fat. It's that. Plus your carbohydrates. Yep. So let's say you're doing like you, 120 protein to energy. That means you're allowed 100 grams of fat and 20 grams of carbohydrates. There you go. Yep. You're done for the day. You're done for the day. Pretty much. Yeah. Enjoy. Does anybody see where we're going with this? Let's, let's look at a couple more. Here's a really healthy product. It's hot in here. It is. We got flaxseed crackers. Flackers. Flaxseeds, organic apple cider vinegar, and sea salt. That's super clean, That's right? That's as simple as it gets. 10 total carbohydrates, nine grams of dietary fiber. One, One net, net carb. carb. There's 10 crackers in a serving. There's five servings in here. But again, five servings times 12 grams of fat. That's 60 grams of fat out of your 100 grams for the day if you're going by net carbs. And I could totally eat this entire bag. I'm telling you, I could eat this bag. Mm-hmm. Here's another one. This is what started us on this rant. And we love this product. We love them. Smart Cakes. And again, we're not bashing any one of these companies. We eat every one of these products. That's why it's here. That's why we have them. We didn't go out and buy any of this stuff just for this video. No. But we eat them in moderation because we do total carbohydrates. And here's why. There's two can two servings in this package. Okay. They're two little two, muffins. Two muffins, right? They're cute. We're all gonna eat the whole package for the most part. Unless well, you're fortunate enough like you have Rachel and I, we each get we, one. We will split it. But if you eat the entire package, there's 18 total carbohydrates in this. <laughs> there's 10 grams of dietary fiber and there's eight grams of erythritol. You know what that means? Zero. Zero. It's like it Zero. didn't even happen. And here's the thing. If you are a calorie counter. There's almost nothing in there. That's only, it's only 74 calories. Hello. So you could literally eat 10 packages of this. And you could. They're for horrible. only 740 calories and be at zero <laughs> net carbs. Wow. I mean, just think of it. Yeah. Just think of that. You can do that mouth equation and get to zero. Now, here's the real reason that, that we started doing net carbs, okay, Be or total carbs. Because when we got started on keto, all of this stuff, it didn't exist. It did not exist. The worst thing you had out there, you had Quest Bars, which wasn't even keto. That no. was long before keto. Well, I mean, nuts existed. Well, nuts existed. But, but I not... mean, a lot of these products that we have, right? Yeah. But... What you did have was keto bars, but that was it. And they're using really good clean ingredients. Yeah. Then all of a sudden we started getting products like this and like this one. And here's the problem with this one. This came in a keto crate. We do not eat this one. Okay. So this product here. We keep it as a cautionary tale. Has 141 calories, 11 grams of fat, 2.7 grams of protein, 12 total carbohydrates, and 10 grams of fiber. 
with no sugar alcohols. As a matter of fact, there's no sweetener in this at all. But when you eat it, there is a sweetness to it. So we sweetness, knew. Sweetness, it's a piece of taffy. So we knew that what are they using to sweeten this with? They're using the fiber itself. Right. And whenever they're using, we call it the fiber game. A lot of fiber, you kind of got to like raise your antennas up and be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Because there are a lot of fibers that they're using in these products and products that aren't even keto friendly that your body will at least partially digest. Yeah. IMO fiber, another one. That's isomaltal oleosaccharides. And here's the thing. IMO fiber comes from the same source as like tapioca fiber. And because of that, and because the companies know that we are actually looking for IMO fiber on a label or isomaltal oleosaccharides, sometimes they think they're really sneaky and they label it as tapioca fiber on the nutrition label. Well, they label it as tapioca fiber until they realize that most of the keto people have now figured out that they have changed IMO fiber to the name tapioca fiber, and then they think to themselves, we gotta change the name again. They already have. Soluble corn fiber. Okay, but here's the problem with that. There are good soluble corn fibers out there, and there are bad ones. Same thing with tapioca fiber, because some of them are really good and your body really doesn't digest them, and some of them are, IMO fiber relabeled as soluble corn fiber or tapioca fiber. And there's really no way of knowing when you look at the nutrition label, so you except have for to, this. Yeah, I mean, you have to kind of feel like, this feels like taffy. There's some kind of candy feel to it. It's and very, it's sweet. It's very sweet and sticky, but there's no sweetener in it. There's no sweetener at all. So how is it sweet? The only way you're gonna look at it is go, oh, well, there's 12 total carbohydrates, but there's 10 grams of dietary fiber. Oh, it, yeah, it's like almost nauseating. Yeah. The other way you may be able to figure it out is when you look at a label and you're like, it says liquid vegetable fiber. Yeah. That is usually like a really good indication that they're playing the fiber game and using something like IMO fiber. And again, IMO fiber is going to be partially digested in the body. And because of all that, that is why we strongly recommend some type of total carb protocol. That doesn't mean you have to do complete total carbs. No, in fact, if you're going to eat around the outer aisle of the supermarket and eat mostly vegetables, maybe even add a little bit of berries into your diet, the, the fiber that God put into food, that's you know something that you could subtract. You can count on that. Mm -hmm. This. These were not made by God. <laughs> they may be heavenly tasting, but they were created. Yes. So there are extra ingredients in here that you need to be a little suspect of. You need to, you know, put a little scrutiny on it. Yeah. So why total carbs? And again, I know there's somebody right now typing out, you're wrong. Right. Listen to us for one second. Just give us one second before you, before you put the thumbs down and the big hate comment down below. Yeah. Why total carbs? It's easy. It is, you don't have to do math anymore. And I mean, especially when you add the layer of allulose to everything, you've got total carbs and you got fiber and then you have sugar alcohols that you have to subtract and then you have allulose you have to subtract. I subtract nothing. I come into a serving, I've decided on what my total carb cap is. We, we usually say about, you know, no more than 40 or 50 total carbs. Mm -hmm. Even if you wanna do net carbs, keep your net carbs 20 or under, and then no more than 40 or 50 total carbs. If you do that, I can come in and say, okay, a serving of this would be two total carbs. No problem. Right. I can eat that. That's no problem at all. This one, even 24 total carbs. I can have a cookie in a day. That's mm -hmm. completely fine. It's all right. Yep. But now let's talk about why we say some type of total carb, because like you said, you can still do a net carb protocol. So for example, if I'm gonna eat these, and again, I love these. If I'm gonna do totally just net carbs and I'm not going to look at total carbs at all, each one of these only has one net carb. That means I could actually, how many are in this box? I think there's five. There's six in this box. There that means I can eat this entire box 
in a day if I'm just counting carbohydrates. Because some people don't count their protein, they don't count their fat, they only count their carbohydrates. So that means I can eat six of these. That's six net carbs. The problem with that is, what's six times 15 for fat? That's a lot, right? It is a lot of fat, but here's the thing. Do you really think that an entire box with all of these, like that is something that you should consume in a day? Right. That is not something you can consume in a day. Yep. The normal person, like, you know, we've eaten dinner tonight. We're, we're satiated. We're full. When I am reasonable mm -hmm. and, and, and my carbs aren't calling to me, you know, my carb addiction isn't calling to me, I know for a fact that this is not in a reasonable serving. That's like, right. I, I can't have this as a serving. I can't have 10 packs of these in a serving. That is unreasonable. But when my carb addiction starts calling to me, then yeah, that looks like a serving to me. I get this if I'm on net carbs. I want this and I'm getting it all. And then not only am I gonna eat this, but I'm gonna eat other carbs in a day as well. But if you're following a net carb with a total carb cap, which is what we recommend, either strictly total carbs, because remember the lower your carbs, the faster you're going to burn the fat. So if you're just doing 20 total carbs, it's that many less carbs to have to worry about before your body gets to the fat. What we recommend, especially if you're brand new, 20 net carbs, but no more than 40 to 50 total carbs. The one thing you do have to remember though, if you are doing 40 to 50 total carbs, that is not a license to eat an Oreo cookie because it's gonna fit into your total carb cap. When we say 40 to 50 total carbs, that's still keeping the net carbs under 20. The reason we're telling you to still look at the net carbs under 20 when you're doing 40 to 50 total carbs, it's gonna prevent you from picking up something that's got sugar or got wheat in it and go, hey, this is gonna fit in my macros. Yeah. Fit in your macros doesn't exist. No. If I'm doing a total carb cap of 40 to 50 with a net carb cap of 20, that allows me to have one of these because it's one net carb, but I can have more than one because two of these is gonna put me over my total carb cap. But what is that gonna leave me? 18 or 19 other carbohydrates for net carb to be able to have things like spinach or broccoli or cauliflower or maybe a little bit of keto chow or maybe a little bit of collagen, something like that. So I can fit that stuff in without overdoing it. And it helps me actually realize my health goals because I do want to reduce my carbohydrates and this helps me to be reasonable. Mm -hmm. Now I do have two other products that I wanted to mention because here's the thing. A lot of times you're going to go into a calculator, for example, chronometer. We love chronometer. We highly recommend chronometer for tracking your food intake, not calories. Remember, we don't count calories. We're totally looking at the grams of carbohydrates, the grams of fat and the grams of protein that we're taking in. But when you go on to chronometer, you can choose a net carb protocol, a total carb protocol, and then you can also choose net carb but don't count sugar alcohols. My personal opinion is you should count it all. That's gonna help you be the most successful. At minimum, and I wish they gave you that option, never take out fiber. That yeah. will really make sure that you're the most successful because fibers are where the companies are playing their game. Yeah. I am more apt to take out the sugar alcohol than I am the fiber. For example, when I look at some of these different mug cakes or something like that, I'm going to look at, hey, okay, most of the product is allulose. Like, for example, these, right? So this, it has 11 total carbohydrates with 2 grams of dietary fiber and 6 grams of allulose. So most of the carbs are coming from allulose, Not which fiber. I know my body isn't going to digest. Now, I take them all out, but if you want to take something out, that's the better one to take out. For example, this stuff Yum. is delicious. Really good. 11 grams of fat in a serving, which is 1 tablespoon. 7 total carbohydrates with seven grams of sugar alcohols, because it's all erythritol no, in here. No fiber. There's no fiber in here. Now, do I think you should be eating seven tablespoons of this? No. It'd be a great day. It would be a really good day. But again, if you have that cap on there, you're not going to do that, because nobody is going to go like, hey, I'm allowed 40 carbs, so I think my 40 carbs are gonna come from five tablespoons of this, yeah. which is going to be 55 grams of your 100 grams total of fat for the day. Yeah. Same thing with something like this that we got in the mail. 13 total carbohydrates. I'm proud of this. 
Only four grams of dietary fiber and eight grams of erythritol. Great job, Gus. When I see that fiber much higher than the sweetener, that's where my red flags start going up. Yeah, and you see that a lot in things like the low-carb breads, the tortillas that are supposed to be keto-friendly because they are pumping a bunch of fiber into it. Now, I am going to put a list down below, a link to a list on our website with some of, not all of them, because as many names as there is for sugar, there's that many different types of fiber, but some of the more popular sweeteners and fibers that these companies are using and things that you should at least be on the lookout for. So what do we recommend? At minimum, what we recommend is a net carb protocol with a total carb cap. Now, what your net carbs should be, what that number should be for you, and what that total carb number should be for you, that's up to you. Mm -hmm. What we recommend is start at nothing higher than 20 net carbs and no more than 40 to 50 total carbs. That's gonna pretty much guarantee that you're gonna get yourself into ketosis. Now, if you start finding that you're having some issues, you may need to lower those numbers down a little bit. Maybe make it like 15 net carbs and 30 total carbs. For the most part, what we like to do is no more than 20 net carbs, but we really don't look at net carbs unless we're having a dessert day. And we don't like to do any more than 30 total carbs. And most of the time, we don't even get near that unless we're having just a lot of vegetables or like three keto chows in a day. So it's just important to put a fence around it. You're mm -hmm. going to be happier if you do that. Because remember, at the end of the day, our body doesn't really need carbohydrates at all. Yes. It's all just the, the carbohydrates is what we enjoy. Yep. Now, that's gonna be the end of step four. Now, again, let us know down in the comment section, which protocol do you follow? Do you follow a net carb protocol? Do you follow a total carb protocol? Also, let us know what carb protocol you follow as far as how many, or do you follow what we recommend, which is a net carb protocol with a total carb cap? And you know what, Joe? No matter what they follow, they're our friends. Yep. Now again, please do us a favor. If you do like Perfect Keto products, please support the sponsors that support us. Use the link down below. It does put a little bit towards the channel, but it also lets Perfect Keto and whatever other sponsors we may have know that you found them through us. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, check out some of the other videos that we have linked right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're gonna find right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.